Welcome to challenge number five. We are going to create an adding calculator. Let's take a look at the final version real quick. Now this is going to be one of the quicker challenges in this, uh, in this series of 10. And that's because this is kind of run of the middle, right in the day five area. So this is a lot of what you've done from one through four, but we're gonna try to do this a little bit quicker. And that repetition will get you the skills you need to work with a lot of React applications. We're gonna have two input boxes here. Once we add a number here, let's do 10, and let's do another number here, we'll do 23. Once we add them together and we click this button right here, we'll get 33, as we should. So we're gonna take two inputs, we're gonna listen for some events on those, we're going to use React State as we've done in the previous examples, and then we're going to listen for an event on this button, and we're gonna add all those numbers together and show the total here. All right, so that's looking good, let's go back. And now would be a good time to pause the video and start the challenge yourself. You can find the starter code sandbox down below in the post, and I'll see you when you get back. All right, welcome back. We are going to get to the solution of this video, and we're gonna try to do this a little quicker than we've been doing so far. All right, let's jump into the solution. We're gonna go into our starter code sandbox. We have our two inputs here. Input type number is a placeholder of zero. Input type number is a placeholder of zero. And we already have the CSS for you, so you can already have these styled. You don't have to worry about styling. We also have a place, this H2, where you can display the calculated total. It looks like we have three different variables here. We're going to use React state because we need to keep this number in state. We have to keep this number in state, and then we have to keep a total in state. So we're gonna create three different things when we use state. We're gonna say const number one, set number one is equal to use state, and we're gonna start that off at zero. We're gonna copy the same thing. We're gonna go set number two, use number two. Uh, we didn't actually import use state. So we're gonna go up here, comma, and then we're gonna object destructure, use state right there out of React, and now nothing breaks, very good. Now that we have number one and number two, we're going to bind that value to these two inputs. We're gonna go down here, value, number one, and we're using JSX again, value, number two. And just to be sure that everything's working, we're just gonna do a little bit of this, strong tag, strong tag, number one. And just to be sure that state is updating as it should, number one. And let's put a colon here. Okay, so as we update this, uh-oh, it's not updating. And that makes sense because we haven't actually listened for the event on it yet. We have number one and it's gonna show, but we have no idea how to change this number so that it gets updated. In order to do that, we actually need to use set number. We're gonna go down here, on change is equal to e arrow function set number one, e.target.value. Let's save that. All right, so that'll update number one every time that this input is typed into. But as we saw in the previous challenge, this is actually a string because inputs usually have uh, an output of string for their value. We're gonna convert that to an actual number using the unary operator for the plus. And now if we update this two, three, there we go. Our entire number gets updated. You see React updating our DOM because our state is updating. Very good. Let's take these two things and we're gonna do the same thing for this number right here. Oh, I already have value on that one. We'll remove that there. And this is gonna be set number two. And now we're able to set number one and set number two. We have state, we have listened for the changes on both of these inputs, and that's gonna handle it for the inputs. Now we can just remove this thing right here because we don't need it anymore. All right, the next thing is we need to make sure that this button will add these two numbers together. When we want to listen for an event using React, we're gonna go down to the button and we're gonna say on click. And here we actually created a function just inline on change for this input. For this one, let's do add them together. And what we're doing here is we're creating a function called add them together. And I like being very explicit with my function names. You can name this whatever you want. 
Notice that add them together is not defined. That's because we haven't actually made the function yet. Let's go up here. We're going to say function, add them together. Now here, we're going to say we want to update a variable that will automatically show down here in the DOM. And that should be right around here. So to do that, we're going to create a new variable using React state. We're just going to call this total. We're going to say set total. And what is our default state going to be for this one? It's actually going to be number one plus number two. And you can actually do some evaluation inside of use state as the first parameter. So we have set total and we have total. And now instead of showing zero down here, we're going to show the total. Let's make sure that it actually works though. If we go up here to number one and we set a default of let's say 34, then 34 should show here, 34 should update on the total and 34 should show as the total in our DOM. That looks good. Now let's bring that back to zero. Everything works. And the last thing we need to do on the set total for add them together, we're gonna use set total is number one plus number two. Okay, so now let's recap what happened. On click, we're gonna use the function called add them together. We're gonna go up here and add them together. It basically just says set the total and we're gonna combine number one and number two. Technically, you could do this in line. So you could do copy this whole thing right here, go down here and you could say uh, inline function set total like that. And that would work. I personally like creating the function itself up here because it's a little bit more explicit on what we're doing when we click that button. Let's double check that it works. Let's do one here, let's do two here and click add them and it automatically updates our total. And that I believe will end this challenge. That's looking good. I think that's a lot of good practice for using React State, uh, for using event listeners right here on change and then for also just using JSX and moving data around our applications. For the next ones, we're gonna jump into a little bit more React stuff. We're gonna talk about components. We're gonna use state and event listeners more because you're gonna use those in every React application. So I'll see you in challenge number six.